This is Ksenia Mia Brogilovsky speaking out of 106 Montcalm Boulevard in Vaughan, Ontario. It's the 23rd of December now, 2.30 in the morning. And I wanted to um, sort of uh, take this video as I'm watching uh, rejected Ukraine's unwanted children, effectively about the state system for uh, child care. Uh, when parents sign um, the rights to the child, to their biological child, uh, to the to the state, okay, for reasons of physical uh, or psychological, neurological uh, unfitness. All right. So, what I wanted to um, do right now in this video is uh, lay out my grievances um, regarding my own life. Um, as you already know, uh, my biological father, Alexander Filinov, uh, effectively fled. He abandoned me and my mother and he fled uh, to Russian Federation uh, in the late um, 1980s as Perestroika was happening and the USSR was collapsing. Uh, for whatever the, uh, reason, he decided that um, uh, he no longer was invested in the life of uh, his wife and his biological child, which I am. Okay, um, so my grievances with the international courts, Interpol, uh, any other organization dealing with displaced people and people who were denied basic human rights, such as uh, right to health, right to family, normal social settings, etc., etc. I believe that I was effectively manslaughtered. I was manslaughtered by my own biological father. Because really, what it boils down to is um, at some point, he found out that my biological mother, uh, Alla Filinova, born Alla Bragilovskaya, had uh, an abortion. Okay, um, sometime, uh, as far as I remember, in 79, might be six months, one year um, earlier or later, but I, from what I remember, it was 1979. Uh, so she had this abortion, uh, and then she married my biological father, Alexander Filinov. Uh, they lived together, they produced one child in 1982, um, spring, I believe it was April 1982, at which point she was told that the child was stillborn. I believe it wasn't a stillborn child. I believe the child was uh, normal. Um, she was told that the child was stillborn and she must have just uh, signed off on uh, whatever the doctors showed or told her. Okay, so um, she effectively... Uh, lost uh, one child uh, in this um, abortion in 1979. Then whatever doctor did their machinations uh, in 1982 um, by defrauding her, most likely, I believe, I truly believe it was an, uh, um, a fit child, a normal child, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, the doctors... Uh, who were Russian doctors, uh, most likely still under the uh, sort of um, overall USSR state system uh, for health institution, etc. Uh, they told her that the child was stillborn. Okay, so uh, second uh, loss of a child. Uh, so... Really, my question as it concerns my life right now is, did my father, Alexander Filinov, at the time of conception of myself, sometime in March 1984, did he or did he not know about the state of health of my mother, Alla Filinova, born Bragilovskaya, uh, about her abortion, about the stillborn? So did he know all of these facts and did he was he in conscious mind and with uh, full present uh, presence of spirit and uh, uh, some wisdom and um, uh, judgment um, decided that yes 
he was fully aware that he is about to bring another uh, child into this life and that most likely he is not going to hold up the whole duration or for as long as it was needed for my life to realize, for my rights to be protected, for my health to be protected. Because from the point of where I am sitting right now, here, kidnapped, trafficked, uh, denied health, denied reproductive rights, denied property rights, vandalized, persecuted, denied uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, employment opportunities and normal development. Don't forget about the normal development because I was being brought up by my mother who was so emotionally distressed from this whole happenings in her life that uh, I got the beating that I got the emotional uh, uh, sort of remoteness. She was probably told by someone not to be all uh, uh, into my face for medical reasons. I believe she was led by someone into how to bring me up uh, sort of thing. Uh, but I got all of the sort of uh, emotional coolness and distress and the uh, whipping and the uh, 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 complete emotional breakdowns, uh, especially early uh, when she was uh, um, going through the divorce. Uh, so from where I am sitting right now, from my standpoint, um, my biological father most likely, again at the time of my conception in March 1984, uh, knew about her state of health, about the fact that she had an abortion, uh, that uh, they together were living at that time for more than three years together. They tried to bring one child into this life. No one seemingly followed up on why this child was stillborn. Was it actually stillborn or was it some sort of, uh, again, corruption there amongst the uh, healthcare providers in the glorious USSR? Uh, what happened? Why? Etc. No one cared. No one cared. Okay, so no one cared about her state of health, about uh, what happened, uh, why abortion, uh, why stillborn. And after all of that, all of this, he still decided to bring me into this life, a girl, a girl, and unburden himself from his wide, uh, manly shoulders unburden this load onto mine, onto my child-like uh, 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 spirit sort of thing uh, for me to carry this burden throughout my life, uh, to be denied what he was denied and no longer wish to carry. So he effectively uh, dumped all this crap that he didn't want to, uh, uh, was relieved from duty sort of thing, he dumped all this scrap, all this burden onto my shoulders, okay? I thereby was denied health, I thereby was denied property rights, I thereby was denied emotional uh, family rights. All of my life went haywire because of his seemingly uh, sound judgment and good decision making of uh, bringing me into this life, okay? Uh, so, Alexander Filinov, by all means, I, as a person who was uh, victimized, uh, trafficking, kidnapping, crimes against humanity, I was denied health, I was denied reproductive rights, I was denied property rights, by all means, I am very much seeking Interpol's involvement into bringing this person, Alexander Filinov, uh, to justice, because I feel like I was just slaughtered for manslaughter. I was slaughtered for manslaughter to carry the burden that he, the male, didn't wish to carry. And thereby I was denied all of this right. So uh, for all of these reasons that, first of all, he didn't care about uh, her state of health, uh, he didn't inquire about the uh, state of being and the reasons and the causes for the stillborn, seemingly stillborn child in 1982. Um, what happened, uh, why it happened, in what state of mind and health my mother was left to care for me as a main 
uh, care provider. Uh, he didn't care about any of that, any of that. And I am telling you that uh, from the depth of my conscience as I knew my uh, father when I was a child. I knew uh, his whole demeanor and uh, uh, the intonations and the voice, everything, everything. And I can say it with 100% conviction that at no point did he... Uh, uh, want or was willing uh, or were, was promoting uh, his parental rights for me or his willingness and readiness to support me in my life aspirations. So, um, yeah, by all means, uh, Interpol uh, or any other organization, uh, corruption, etc. I don't care. I don't care. I care about the result of my life, that I was abundant as a child. I was brought into the life, into this life, um, via poor judgment or fraud. I don't know. Call it whatever you want. Call it whatever you want. I was denied life. I was slaughtered for manslaughter. And someone needs to account for that. Okay, I understand USSR no longer exists. But Alexander Filinov and... Uh, Alla Filinova born Bragilovskaya need to sort of answer for all of the shit they, they've loaded on me, including uh, fraud, including kidnapping, including trafficking, including crimes against humanity, denial of health, denial of uh, sort of uh, normal development opportunities. Uh, uh, just completely destroying my reputation that I now have uh, uh, all this bullshit products being peddled to me because I cannot participate in social life apparently now because I am a, what, a product of fraud, of uh, uh, a product of corruption, a product of something. But like, I am not a normal child. I am not because my mother didn't want me. My father didn't want me. So what happened? What happened between the two of them? What happened with the uh, 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 lovely doctors from USSR? Why was I produced into this world only to be tortured, only to be defrauded, only to be manslaughtered, only to be sort of denied surreptitiously, denied social settings and opportunities, denied a normal life? I want for Interpol to step in and to answer for why I was slaughtered for manslaughter. Why was I a victim of manslaughter? Why?